MTD CNC today are at XYZ Machine Tools with their headquarters in Devon. I'm with Nigel Atherton. Now, we all know uh, that automation is beginning to play a key role in machine shops throughout uh, the country. Nigel, and this is your entry into it, isn't it? Tell us about the RoboTend. Well, the RoboTend came because there's, we've had a lot of people who've come in here and said that they're buying machine tools and they'd like to integrate a robot. And, the, and we've, we know there's a skill shortage and there's a labour shortage in the UK. We've thought about robotic automation for a long, long time and we decided to, to take a venture into it. And at first we decided to contact KUKA Robotics and the, uh, they, they gave us some inspiration to go ahead. But we discovered that it's not a case of just buying a robot, taking it out of his box and hoping it'll work on a machine. There's a lot, lot more to think about than that. And so we worked with a company based in Manchester and we've developed a system that we're going to call RoboTend. And the way that it works is that you have a, a you tell it the size of billet that you want to machine and, and it tell, it's a draw system at the moment and we can do link to a conveyor. At some stage we're going to be able to link to like a draw system that rotates. That, um, we could do that now probably. The first thing that, that strikes me is that actually its size and the fact it's on wheels as well. So um, going back a few years when I looked at your two-op machine which became or is very popular you can move it around the machine shop. Is, is this a similar sort of idea from XYZ? Um, yeah, I, I tell you what the two-op has been a fantastic success for us. A very small footprint originally designed with wheels so it could be moved around a shop but the reality is that people buy a two-op, move it to the side of a machine and it stays there for a long time. Now, with, the t with this robot, we did want a robot that was very versatile because this is not for mass production, this is for low volume production. Uh, it's going to give you a day shift, easily one night shift, you might want to run it longer than that, but easily another shift for very, very little cost. And the fact that it's on wheels is very important to us because we could, you, in a small machine shop, you may have a lot of milling one month and not very much turning and then you may have a lot of turning. So this can be moved from this and put onto a turning centre. Uh, what, what would be the integration, uh, what, 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 how long would it take to go from one to the other? I mean, let's say for example once you wheeled it up here to your, your LR machine, is it quite quick to just get it all in place to get going? It's really, really quick. You're probably talking less than half an hour, but the important thing is that you can't just wheel it up to any machine in your shop. We do need to do some integration work onto the turning centre, and we do have to um, do have to put a plate in front of the machine for the for the, um, the it to dock with. So you'd expect there's a bit of preparation, but once that's yeah. done. The actual, let's say, machines are prepped, you can literally, within half an hour, move the, this yeah. solution from one to the other. Um, then how about how the control integrates with the control on the machine? Is that all taken care of as well? That's all taken care, that's all taken care on of um, the design of the robot end control was such that uh, once it can speak to the, to the, uh, the machine tool, um, really it's looking for signals that the doors open, doors closed, and um, it can integrate very easily. And you said you've got the draw system here, which I can see again, quite, quite neat and tidy because it keeps yeah. components out of the way as well. Turnover stations and things like that, do you have all of that too? Yeah, and I'm sure you'll see that working in a moment, doing a turnover. A turnover. We see that as very important. That it, quite often you've got to turn, do two sides of a, of a job but you could turn it over several times the same component. And health and safety, these are always uh, points as well, fully enclosed, so you don't have any of those concerns in any way, do you? Yeah, it's fully enclosed, and also we've got a light guard on, the, on this. The, the enclosure's more to make sure that um, people are, are, can't gain access, and also just to, if anything did fly out, or uh, protection against any swarf or whatever. And is there any restrictions on the weights that you can pick up? Well, at the moment, it's a 10 kilo robot that we've that we've worked on. Um, we we can go to much bigger robots, but we're hoping for our first sales. We just want them to be ideally a 10 kilo payload, which, to be honest with you, is what most humans can handle. Um, after after that, you're going to start needing a crane anyway, or a bigger robot, and we can go up to 25 kilos quite comfortably. 
It's pretty um, evident that you value engineered this as well because I'm going to ask you the price now and I'm sure our viewers are going to be very surprised when uh, they hear what they can purchase one of these for. Right, OK. Well, the target price that we've got is around the £65,000 mark and that would be complete with a gripper and a draw system. So everything you need to, to start, start producing components. Brilliant, very competitive. So if you've got an XYZ machine or you're buying a new XYZ machine and you want to go for that unmanned run, that overnight run, then the Robo Tend is definitely an option for you. And you can move it from one machine to the other uh, as long as the other machines are prepped. And there's no reason that you wouldn't be running it all day. You know, the, the, you know, you might have one guy. I think the, what will happen with this is you'll buy one robot and then you'll have three or four more VMCs in your factory and you'll say, wow, I think we should be having, having a few more of these. And the skilled men that you currently employ to be working these machines, they can do more productive, better things that are much more engineering orientated and, and better for them and the company.